Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to create the progress bar in the Power App. And I will not waste your time. Directly go on to the point. Okay, so let's go and start how to use this. Okay, how to create this, and what are the necessary steps? Okay, so I am going to make dot Power Apps. Okay. Uh, first step let's see how to use this component okay so if you see i have the slicer okay it is a new modern progress bar okay and the second one is the classic one let's i expand my screen okay so this is the new slicer this is the classic one and this is the progress bar okay this progress bars we are created and these two more i have okay this one okay and as well as this one okay so all these uh, co components are available for download as well okay so you can download this from my website okay so this is my website okay i just write this blog okay so you can see how to create this how to use this and at the end of this okay i provide the link for the download purpose as well so from here you can simply download and in the power apps simply in the component section you can import these components as well okay so let's see how to use this one by one okay so let's see how to use these three ones okay one is progress bar slicer and slider three okay so all these three components having the similar properties okay so in the progress bar we have the max value 100 okay i set for 100 for slicer also we have the minimum and maximum value if you set the value 0 and max value to the 100 it will work similar like the progress bar and for this new slicer as well we have the same properties max value 100 we set mean value 0 and in the value section we will use the variable value here okay similar for the progress bar as well in the value section we will use the variable in the slicer also at the default property we will use this okay so on my button we are using increasing this variable value by 10 percent okay so we can be see the progress of this indicator okay so this is set at 40 okay if you hover on this you can see 40. so let's i click so it is increased by 10 okay it is increased by 10 you can be see so this is one of the good approach you can be used to create the uh, progress bar okay if you want to decrease as well okay so you can decrease this as well let's say copy and paste this button here okay and let's remove this and instead of this plus we will use minus and let's play see okay it is zero It should be this way. So in this way, you can be increase or decrease the values. Okay, you can be say it is ten now, twenty. If you are decrease, you can be decrease. So this is one of the good approach. Okay, second one, we have this one. Okay, if you wants to showcase the numbers. Okay, one, two, three four step is approved okay so in this case you can be use this um, fourth component okay so let's i showcase you how to create this one okay so for creation of this one you simply need one gallery okay the gallery is horizontal gallery here okay so from insert section let's we do one okay instead of showcasing so let's create more okay so in the component let's simply use the screen width property okay so i go to screen use this width okay and copying this simply going to the component in the width section i using this uh, we need the height only 40 not too bigger let's use the gallery here blank word okay so you can use blank vertical as well as horizontal as well 
but i will prefer here horizontal one okay blank horizontal setting the x to the 0 y to the 0 width to the parent dot width okay and the height is also the parent dot height let's use the collection here okay so for that purpose i use this call progress bar okay so let's i go in the gallery items data source property we will use the our collection name simply okay so if you see we cannot use directly collection in the item section so we need to create some custom properties okay so let's use your item okay and uh, let's change that input type okay it is data source it is should be table data type and simply click on the create okay so in the item let's i go and use that call progress bar in the gallery we will use our component name okay so component name is component one dot item okay so now we can be access this so let's i go in the gallery let's minimize make the zero padding let's change the template size okay so template size we will make this parent dot width divided by count rows okay self dot all item we have all item count as well so we simply use self dot all item count and it all set let's go and insert the rectangles one we need one more angle if we need this in the gallery so i use select in the gallery click on this pencil icon using this now rectangle 4 okay so height should be only 10 okay. is parent dot template width divided by 2 for the both the one okay so let's use control c and in the width let's like go here click on the width property it should be 10 x should be 0 y should be let's use here packet parent dot height template height minus self dot height divided by 2 let's copy this here as well the x property of this should be parent dot width template width minus self dot width okay, so it is aligned now we need one batch icon here okay or the circle so if you go in the layout input section then we have display we have the batch one so let's use this uh, y property of this is also the same okay so let's i use the same one formula here okay uh, x prop let's use this 48 oh, Date, date. X property should be parent dot width minus self dot width divided by two. Okay. So this formula is self explanatory. Okay. We are simply aligning this uh, centrally with 
respect to the template okay so now all set now we need to hide this rectangles okay so we we'll simply use the formula here okay so let's i go to the visible property of this okay and say here this item dot id equal to first component one dot item dot count or we can be simply use gallery four dot all item count oh, no we need the collection component one dot item dot id open bracket and here as well and let's add like one exclamatory marking okay so this is done we need to copy this formula let's go to this rectangle let's go to the visible property of this and let's change the first to the last one one more Do not need this okay so I deleted this. Okay. So you can be see our progress bar is ready now. Okay. So let's change the content to the this item. Dot ID one two three four. Okay. And let's go and change the fill color of this one. Okay. So I'm copying this one to save our time, and I will explain you what it is mean. If you go in the color property, appearance, okay, color is a brand. Okay, so in the color property, right? Let's say it's cross check. What is the problem? Theme color, okay. If you go in the theme color, okay, oh, yeah, it is correct. So we are checking, okay, if this progress bar value is true, okay, then make it is green neither make it false okay so if you go on the screen so this is our collection okay so if you see the progress bar values is true if i make this false okay and let's click the button so you can be see this is in the false state it means only the first two actions is completed not the third one so in this way it will work with the collection let's change the rectangle color as well okay. so let's I copy this and use it here okay. the fill property of this one okay. so this you can be see it is now done so in this way you can be create this component okay and for these two components okay this is created by one of our friend okay that is matthew devaney okay you can be follow his uh, blog as well okay so in the community this is available you can be see progress indicator component okay so you can be follow this article as well okay or you i will just explain you as well how to use this and I will also add the link in the description box. Okay, from there you can be used. Okay, so gal progress. So this is the one. Okay, you can be edit one. It will represent the current one. Okay, is current property. Data this succeed means this icon will be marked as a tick mark. Okay, and images you can be set according. So friends, if you have any question, any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. Thank you. Keep learning. Keep growing. Keep exploring. Have a nice day. Too.